Look deep enough into Earth's past and you will find that living organisms have evolved into forms so strange, they shatter your perceptions of what is possible in the natural world. From a bizarre ancient amphibian with a boomerang-shaped head to a fearsome marsupial predator with teeth shaped like blades, let's take a closer look at some truly weird creatures from Earth's distant past. Long before dinosaurs roamed the Earth, strange creatures swam through prehistoric swamps and rivers, their shapes and behaviors defying modern imagination. Among them was Diplocolis, a bizarre amphibian whose boomerang-shaped head has been the subject of great fascination. It lived roughly 250 million years ago, during the late Carboniferous and early Permian periods. The most striking feature of Diplocolis is its head, which flares out into two elongated horn-like extensions that give it a boomerang or crescent shape. Its purpose remains the subject of debate among paleontologists. One popular theory suggests that the head's unique shape helped Diplocolis swim more efficiently. The wide flat extensions may have acted like hydrofoils, stabilizing the creature as it moved through water, or even aiding in quick turns to escape predators. Others speculate that the head could have been a defensive adaptation, making it harder for predators to swallow Diplocolis whole. Some even argue that it played a role in thermoregulation or acted as a display to attract mates or intimidate rivals. Diplocolis was part of the Nectrodeans, a group of early amphibians, and lived in freshwater environments like swamps, rivers, and lakes. These habitats were lush and teeming with life, including giant insects, early reptiles, and other amphibians. At around three feet or one meter in length, Diplocolis was relatively modest in size, but well-suited for its environment. With its aquatic adaptations and specialized features, it thrived for millions of years, but it could not survive the mass extinction event at the end of the Permian period. This catastrophic event, known as the Great Dying, wiped out over 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species, ending Diplocolis's reign in its watery domain. Fossils of Diplocolis have been found primarily in North America, especially in what is now Texas and Oklahoma. Its discovery in the 19th century sparked fascination and debate, as no modern animal has a comparable morphology. In a world dominated by giant insects, primitive plants, and evolving reptiles, Diplocolis was a quiet marvel, a symbol of a time when the Earth's waters teemed with life as strange and wonderful as any science fiction tale. In the shadowy forests and open plains of prehistoric Australia, a fearsome predator stalked the land. Known as Thylacolio or the marsupial lion, this remarkable creature reigned as one of the most formidable carnivores of the Pleistocene epoch between 2 million and 46,000 years ago. Though unrelated to true lions, Thylacolio earned its nickname for its terrifying strength, unique adaptations, and role as the apex predator of ancient Australia. Thylacolio was unlike any predator alive today. Roughly the size of a modern leopard, it weighed between 220 and 280 pounds. Its muscular build, retractable claws, and a robust tail gave it a cat-like appearance, but its skeletal structure revealed its marsupial origins. Like kangaroos and koalas, it carried its young in a pouch, a feature that seems almost incongruous with its ferocious hunting abilities. Its skull housed some of the most powerful jaws in the animal kingdom. Thylacolio's bite force, relative to its size, was greater than that of any living carnivore. Unlike traditional meat-eating mammals, it lacked long canine teeth. Instead, it had massive, scissor-like premolars that could shear through bone and flesh with ease. This adaptation made it a highly efficient killer, capable of taking down large herbivores like Diprotodon the giant wombat-like marsupial, or even ancient kangaroos. Despite its dominance, Thylacolio's reign came to an end around 46,000 years ago. Its extinction coincided with the arrival of humans in Australia and the decline of its megafaunal prey, likely due to a combination of hunting and habitat changes. While some theories suggest Thylacolio may have encountered direct competition with humans, others argue that climate fluctuations also played a role in its demise.
in the shallow lagoons and coastal waters of the late Triassic period, approximately 210 million years ago, swam a creature so peculiar that it defies easy categorization. Meet the Henidus, an armored oddity that thrived during a time when dinosaurs dominated the land. While it shared its habitat with other marine reptiles, Henidus stood out for its unique features, resembling a cross between a turtle and a tank. Henidus, whose name means resembling a turtle, was a placodon, a group of marine reptiles adapted for life in shallow seas. At just over three feet or one meter long, it was small compared to its contemporaries, but its heavily armored body made it a tough nut to crack. Its flat, shell-like carapace and wide paddle-shaped limbs gave it a superficial resemblance to modern turtles, but the similarities ended there. Henidus was not a turtle at all, but an entirely different branch of reptilian evolution. The most striking feature of Henidus was its mouth, equipped with a unique set of adaptations that hinted at its unusual lifestyle. Unlike other placodonts, which crushed shells with robust teeth, Henidus had small, comb-like structures along its jaws. These likely acted as a primitive filter-feeding mechanism, allowing it to sift plankton, algae, or small organisms from the water. This feeding strategy was more akin to that of modern baleen whales or flamingos than to other marine reptiles. The heavy armor covering its body acted as a deterrent against attacks, making Henidus well-suited for survival in a world filled with apex predators like ichthyosaurs and nothosaurs. Despite its seemingly successful adaptations, Henidus disappeared with many other marine reptiles during the mass extinction at the end of the Triassic period. This extinction event, caused by massive volcanic eruptions and rapid climate shifts, wiped out a significant portion of Earth's biodiversity, clearing the way for the rise of dinosaurs and other dominant species. These three extraordinary creatures are just the tip of the iceberg of bizarre results of evolution in the unfathomably long history of life on Earth. For more examples of this, check out these videos which explore the other strange but forgotten wonders of the animal kingdom.